Assalamu alaikum children. Welcome to the science class for the grade 4. This is lesson number 5, matter, solids, liquid and gas. This is part 3. Okay. In previous two videos, we have studied about the matter, the states of matter as solids, liquid and gases, arrangement of molecules in this solid, liquid and gas and change of state. Uh, on heating solid into liquid, liquid into gas and on cooling gas into liquid and liquid into solid on freezing we have seen and we have also studied about solutions. Okay, What are solutions? Solutions are actually the mixture of solid into liquid, the mixture of solid and liquid. So in this activity we have seen how a solution is formed by adding sugar, salt and lemon juice to the water. When we added it, it dissolves completely and it forms a solution. Okay. So, when a solid dissolves in liquid, it forms a solution. Till here, we have seen in the previous video. Today, we will see what is solvent and what is solute. So, look at the examples given here. Salt and water solution. Salt and water are mixed together to make a salt solution. And here, sugar and water are mixed together to make a sugar solution. Salt plus water gives rise to salt solution. Sugar plus water gives rise to sugar solution. So here, a solute is a substance that dissolves in a liquid. For example, in the solution made above salt and sugar are solutes see children in a solution there are two main components they are solvent and solute so what is solute in a solution the solid which we are adding like in the water we are adding sugar or salt so here sugar or salt is solute what is solute a solute is a substance that dissolves in a liquid here liquid is water and what we are adding in this water, that is solute. Sugar and water are here solutes. For example, in the solution made above, salt and sugar are solutes. Remember, the things which we are adding to the liquid, they are solutes. Then what is solvent? A solvent is a substance, uh, usually it will be liquid, in which a solute dissolves. So, here is the water in which salt and sugar dissolves. So, water is solvent. Okay. A solvent is a substance, usually a liquid in which a solute dissolves. So, in the above solutions, the solvent is water. Okay. Can gases also dissolve in water? Yes, they can. All aquatic life is possible because oxygen, which is a gas, is dissolved in water. Aquatic plants and animals live in water. They breathe in the oxygen, dissolve in water. So here it is saying that gas can also dissolve in the water. Then only aquatic animals can breathe in uh, by living in the water. Hmm? So uh, here we have seen what is solution, what is sol solvent and what is solute. I hope you understood clearly. Okay. So, now we will sum up the lesson with the important points. In this lesson, we have seen there are three basic states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. The state of matter can change on heating or cooling. Molecules in solid are tightly packed. Molecules in liquid are not as tightly packed as in solids. Molecules in gases are loosely packed. Solids have a fixed shape and volume. Liquids do not have a fixed shape but have a definite volume. Gases neither have a fixed shape nor a definite volume. Okay, children, these are the important points of this lesson. And here is word bank. Here, new words are given with the meanings. Uh, new words are matter, solution, melting, evaporation, condensation, and freezing. Uh, go through these words and its meanings. And now we will see, take the correct option. Textbook exercises. First one is anything that occupies space and has mass is called 
options are solvent solute matter a solution correct answer is matter next one particles are most closely packed in liquids solids gases all of this correct answer is solids it neither has a fixed shape nor occupies a fixed space gas liquid solid all of these correct answer is gas next one dash can change their shape but have a definite volume so who can change their shape but have definite volume liquids liquids is correct answer next dash can be poured from one container into another water can be poured from one container to another next one changing of water into water vapor is known as evaporation correct answer is evaporation next condensation is when a solid changes into liquid what is condensation when a solid changes into liquid a solid changes into gas a liquid changes into gas or a gas changes into liquid this is correct option a gas changes into a liquid it is condensation okay children here is one more interesting activity what happens in each of the following cases so here the situation is given some cases are given in that you have to identify what happens in this when honey is added to water have you ever dissolved honey into water yes what happens it dissolves completely and it forms a solution next one when ice cream is left outside the freezer what happens with the ice cream ice cream uh, when you keep it out of freezer it melts so here melting takes place next when butter is left out on a hot day in the uh, when temperature is more we if we keep butter outside the fridge so what happens it also melts completely melting takes place what happens when orange juice is left in the freezer overnight it freezes completely so freezing takes place then when wet clothes are put in the sun what happens it dries completely so which process is taking place here evaporation here water is changing into water vapor and clothes are becoming dry so when we keep uh, wet clothes uh, in the sun it dries and evaporation takes place okay and this uh, bit also you try to complete in your textbook okay children complete all these textbook exercises mark it mark the correct answers in your textbooks and uh, here are answer in brief and answer in detail which i am going to uh, forward you in the pdf okay so i hope you have completed lesson number 4 which i forwarded last week on friday i think so if you have completed lesson number 4 now start writing lesson number 5 words for practice first then question answers which i am sending write neatly avoid spelling mistakes complete your notes on time okay uh, inshallah next week we will start lesson number 6 new lesson till then take care of yourself complete your work allah hafiz